As we mentioned, a Garner family is one of hundreds of families that had to flee Maui. And CBS 17's Dina Harley spoke with the family who is now fortunately safe on Oahu. We were just lucky to get off Maui before it, it, it's been engulfed, basically. A Garner family safe on Oahu on Thursday, just hours after having to flee the Hawaiian island of Maui as wildfires raced through the island. We could definitely see the smoke killing at least 36 people and sending thousands of others into shelter. Andy Jones says her family got to Maui on August 3rd. We were about 10 minutes north of the area that's been hit the hardest and were there a couple of days prior doing yeah. that sailing tour and having fun. But by August 8th, we lost power about 11 o'clock p.m. Um, our last night there. The drive to the airport, nothing short of terrifying for the Jones family. It felt like we were in like a sand tornado. So there was so much sand whipping up around the car and the trees were down, the lights were down. It was just, it was very hazardous. With her three kids in the back seat, Jones says the trip to the airport took hours. All the power lines were down. There were some cops that were trying to help, but they're, they're with the linemen trying to do that as well. It was difficult. The family was eventually able to get to the airport and on a flight to Oahu, where they've been since. Jones says within just hours, things the family saw and experienced on Maui were just completely wiped away. I know there's a lot of people that have vacations on Maui, that have honeymooned on Maui, that had places that were very memorable to them that are now just no longer there. She said her family has been in touch with some locals they met while on vacation, trying to figure out how to best support them after their homes were just gone. Dina Harley, CBS 17 News.